Hello, my name is Roger Driscoll. I'm an attorney with the law firm of Burnett and Driscoll. A primary focus of our law office is representing people seeking disability benefits through various government agencies or insurance companies. Today, I want to share with you some of my experience regarding people who work for the federal government and are applying for disability retirement benefits. In the ideal situation, the person that is injured or ill can provide all the medical records or information to a supervisor, try to get an accommodation so that the job can still be performed with some changes. However, that is not always possible. If you are considering disability retirement as a federal government employee, if you have a supervisor that is not interested in helping you, or if your medical situation is so fluid that it's not uh, possible to share your entire situation with your supervisor, you can still pursue disability annuity retirement. So don't let the lack of cooperation from a supervisor or a complicated medical situation could prevent you from pursuing your disability benefits. To initiate the disability claim, there are certain forms that need to be completed by you and a treating physician. Ideally, the forms are completed by you, given to your supervisor. The supervisor completes the report of the agency and the agency forwards them to the Office of Personnel Management. The critical problem is that your application is not filed until it's received by the Office of Personnel Management. I have seen situations where federal employees have waited till the last moment to try to initiate a claim. If that's the situation, depending on your former supervisor or the local agency HR person, promptly completing and submitting your forms is dangerous. If your disability annuity application is not submitted properly within 12 months of your last date of employment by the federal government, it is too late to file the application. If you are in a situation where the supervisor may not cooperate, or the supervisor has changed, or you're uncertain about whether HR will complete the forms properly, it's best to take direct action contact the Office of Personnel Management immediately. I have seen situations where people assume that the agency supervisor or HR have completed the forms and sent them to the Office of Personnel Management, only to find out months later, after it's too late, that the application was never filed. Our office deals with difficult situations. If you have a question about your disability annuity retirement situation as a federal government employee, we welcome the call. Thank you.